I wonder, how many axioms in software architecture are still valid today? Let's take a look at some of these axioms, as a matter of fact. Software architecture is a separate activity from software development. Ladies and gentlemen, today, this is an invalid axiom. It may seem self-evidently true that software architecture is, in fact, a separate activity. But let's actually take a look at this axiom. Because if we take a look at software architecture and software development, what does a software architect do? The activities within software architecture do and seem different. The first activity a software architect does is to analyze business drivers with the business to define those architecture characteristics that are important to the business. And then based on these architecture characteristics, choose the appropriate architecture style for that particular problem or system. And finally to define those components, those building blocks of the architecture. These are common activities of a software architect. Now, these activities usually create artifacts and architecture decisions, which are handed over to software developers. Software developers do, in fact, have an entirely different set of activities. What does the software development do? Software developer will take the components, those building blocks defined by the architect, and decide how should those be implemented. Secondly, maybe screen design, mock-ups, and screen flow. And also, of course, writing software. Ladies and gentlemen, this model of software architecture will not work today. These are not two separate activities. And as a matter of fact, the issue is this unidirectional line right here. As a matter of fact, there's really not a gray line that separates software architecture from software development. It's not even a solid line, ladies and gentlemen. It happens to be, unfortunately, a chasm that is separating software architecture from software development. Now, amazingly enough, some of the decisions an architect makes magically get over to the development team. I don't know how this happens. Because so many decisions an architect makes never reach the development team. They fall straight into this chasm. As a matter of fact, even worse, decisions development teams make that change our architectural assertions and assumptions never make it to us, the software architect. They end up, folks, in this chasm. Today, in order to make software architecture work, Folks, we have to bridge and fill in this chasm between these two activities and create a bi-directional collaborative relationship between software architects and software developers where they are on the same virtual team.